Oh boy. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Oh boy. See, the adults are a little bit more spicy. She is definitely faster. All right, let's think about it. We got mice, we got gerbils, we got two GoPros, BC, we got spare batteries. Spare batteries for the mic? Yes. Yeah. How, um, how many energy drinks? We've got, I brought myself an extra. I didn't think about anybody else. I got my Pokemon Go stuff for noon. Today is a special event, Pokemon Go um, spotlight hour. We got the seven dust to dust the birds for parasites. Ashley's got some equipment in case we get the bird. And then um, we got binoculars. Yes, we have two sets of binoculars. Do okay. Like yeah, I got mine. Okay. I think we're ready to go. All we need is Ashley to tell me exactly where to go. And preferably not to hell. Oh, you're going to change that. All right. Yeah. Well, you're only level 20. You're in a new game So look, now. <laughs> animal instinct. Animal. And when you become team instinct, then I'll let you in the gym. Until then, you can't be in the gym. Right. One of the things that uh, when you're tossing a BC for a passage red tail, you have to make sure that the tall camera is facing the red tail when the BC lands. So it's a whole new level of BC experience. Okay. Um, you know, most most falconers are just hoping to get the BC to land straight up and down and not upside down. Mm -hmm. um, we need you to land the BC so that the camera is pointing at the hawk. Okay. No pressure. Okay. Just a little pressure. Can you tell us why you have us out here today? Because I know where to find some dark birds, so we're going out to look for some dark birds, but we'll look for any immature bird, because it's fun. Ashley had scouted a harlan or two off of some Facebook groups, I guess. Yeah, not to be named. Yeah, we don't want to say that out loud. Because <laughs> cause she lurks the Facebook pages for the bird identification groups, oh. and they don't like us because we're falconers and we trap birds. Oh, yeah, see, they're I, not going to appreciate what we're doing. I don't know these things. I didn't know. Yeah. All right. There's I, a whole lot. Of, there's I a bunch of little, won't put there's this a, in the video. <laughs> well, I try to make sure that you know some things. Like, I try to warn you in advance that there are little minor nuances of protocol and etiquette. Each individual falconer, in general, knows how to do it the best way. Falconers will argue about just about everything. And, uh, however, we are a tight family and we always come together in the end. But let a couple of falconers have an opinion about something and it will be different between each falconer because each individual falconer knows the best way and that's just a fact of life. I know the best way to trap a red tail hawk and we're proving it right here on video. Take a video. If you don't have video, it didn't happen. There it goes. We're gonna go drive past and then drive up and around so that we can get a better look at look see. Uh, we don't want to we don't want to bump the bird until it's caught, but I don't want to be in traffic when it does get caught. I think when the bird hit it, it must have flipped the trap over because I don't see the cameras. Yep. I think the trap's upside down. Oh, I'm just gonna sit right there, eh?
Womp womp. Ow. More importantly, how's Emma? Good. Okay. We got worried about you two. Yep, that's a passage bird. You wanna go on the side road? Yeah. No, I'm just gonna turn around, turn like a Yui. That bird sit through all this. It'll sit. So angle the camera back at the bird. I like them when they're way up high. That makes for a better video. Much better video when they come crashing down on the, on the trap from way up high. The last bird that we threw for was definitely very interesting. It seemed to be a bigger bird and I was very interested in catching it. However, when that bird hit the trap, it hit the trap so hard that it bounced and the bird actually carried it and flipped the trap up side down. And so the bird, we, there was no way for the bird to get caught because all the nooses were upside down on the ground. And uh, so we just drove up to, to uh, bump the bird off that's what you really look for too in a bird is a bird that's aggressive on the trap and hits it hard and really wants to get it. The reason why we're enjoying the back of Michael's head currently is because we threw for another bird. Yes, we are watching another bird currently. And uh, we're this time we're a nice little safe pull off so that we don't get rear ended. Oh, there she goes. She's going down. All right. Oh, yeah. Do you want to explain to people how difficult it is to throw a trap with GoPros on it into high grass off the side of a road? Oh, I think oh, she's, she's caught, caught already. Yeah, she's caught already. It's extremely difficult to throw it right. It is even more extremely difficult. <laughs> they want to flip over, and especially on the birds that you want to trap the most, that's when they flip she over. Got that's caught. when everything goes wrong. She got caught right away. Oh, this is a, this is a nice one. This is a nice big bird. Yeah, she's got she's got pretty pretty incredible feet. Sure does. You want me to give you a hand with the nooses or anything? Nope, we'll I got it. Yeah, she got that first initial impact. She hit this. She hit the trap, and uh, that foot went right through the noose. They are, they, they're Those are big red tail feet. Like she's got some of the biggest feet I think I've seen. No, no, no. I mean, these are okay. Those are, maybe I'm just used to seeing my little male, my Harris hawk feet. So this is a passage bird too? So it is a passage bird, but even though these feet are big, they're not the type of squirrel hawking feet that I'm looking for. Typically, when the tars right here is as thick as my finger, then we're talking about a big bird. I mean, this is a bigger bird, but it's not huge. I think a, a lot of people would keep this bird maybe, but it's just not what we're looking for. She doesn't have a whole lot of mites either. So even though this is a large bird, it's not a huge bird, you know. Usually I'm looking for, for legs that are the size of my first finger. And the weight of this bird, 
This bird might go 1200 grams right now. So by the time you took it down to hunting weight, it's gonna be, you'll probably start this bird around 990, maybe a thousand grams. She's definitely going back. We got her dusted, we got the mites off. She doesn't have any flat flies, amazingly. Not the bird we're looking for. A nice bird, no doubt, but just not the bird we're looking for. And what bird is that again? It's a red-shouldered hawk. There's, there's all types of um, opinions in the falconry community whether or not these birds make good. Uh, it's eating a grasshopper. It's, oh no, maybe that's a frog. Oh, it, oh, it's a snake. Ooh, that's... Look at that. Is that guts or a snake? If that no, whatever pulled up there didn't have guts that long. That's no, that's oh, a, snake. a snake. It's wow. moving. Yeah, it's uh, probably a little western rat snake. I'm in digital zoom right now, so enjoy the blurry footage. Well, it's the best you can get when you're out. I like how its uh, its feathers are oh, pretty. It just swallowed the whole thing. Its feathers are pretty high up on its legs. It seems it's almost. Yeah, like a Harris Hawk's feathers. Yeah, it's got a little bit of those vibes. Get the trap ready. Can you see it, Cole? No, I mean, it's way up on the cliff edge there. Well, reach yourself through there and look. You want me to just toss it out right over here? Just open the door and put it out. Can you, can you see it? Just put it just off the road. I think that's an immature bird. We'll, we'll wait for it for a little bit, but I just love the video of it. It'd be awesome if I could see it in the rearview mirror just slamming the trap right now. I saw that bird coming in from quite some distance too, and I was like, man, that's a nice looking bird. So that's the tree it's on right in front of us there, that dead tree. Next time we stop at a gas station, I need to clean that window. Man, it's so dirty. Yeah, I know. Can't even see anything. Perfect. Nailed that. So this is a different bird came in on this trap and uh, it was a really good smash. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a red, it's an adult bird too. Oh boy. Uh, not the intended bird that we were after. The bird came in from this angle over here. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the seven dust. This is an adult bird. It is a female, but it is not the bird we were after. Oh boy. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Oh boy. The adults are a little bit more spicy. She is definitely faster. They just ratchet down so tight. Mm -hmm. 
she is definitely faster. How was that experience for you? Uh, it's not my first rodeo, but she got some sharp talons. Or he, it's probably a male, kind of small bird. Super but quick. Very, very fast feet. Yep. It's a female. That feather on the edge, how pretty that is with the barring still on it. And some of these mm -hmm. other ones with some bars, but this. Let me take a look at that. That's a gorgeous tail. Wow, that's incredible. You know, one thing we forgot to bring is a first aid kit. Oh, and I don't have one in my vehicle because. Because you haven't put it in there yet. It's a new vehicle. Yet. It is a new vehicle. And she's going to be thankful because I did just see a flat fly on her a second ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, I sure did. Let me know if you get a, any of those. I'd love to get a little clip of it. but You might see him running off of her. It's a nasty little mm -hmm. fly. It looks like a tick with, with wings. Well, it's her lucky on lucky day. Yep. Well, any last words? Nope. She's uh, she's fast, and she bled me pretty good. Um, but not what we're looking for. Not the bird we were after either. Got, but look how light the eyes are. This this bird was is not that old. Maybe a second year bird. Maybe a third at the most, but I think it's probably a second year bird. Ready? Yep. Oh, just in case you didn't know, seven dust will stop bleeding. Oh, did not know that. Yeah. So you can just dust your fingers with a little bit of seven dust. And I don't know that that's something we want to show on video because somebody's probably going to say, it's toxic and it will kill you. Yeah, don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. I'm not a medical doctor. But I love Michael advice, so. <laughs> Get some dirt, rub some dirt in it. Is this one looking any decent? Yeah, it's a, it's a big bird. It's definitely a passage bird, I think. There's another one right down there. Yeah, she's already looking like, yeah, there's a meal right there for me. Oh, oh there goes. it goes. Oh, we're fixing to find out if it's caught or not. Of course. Got interested people. It's a big bird too. Excitement, I don't know if to record. That's fine. It is. No. No, no. We're, 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 we're catching it on purpose. I've got a friend that does it in Georgia. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's a falconer in Georgia? Yeah, down outside Atlanta. Has one been spotted? Yeah, it, it was here all weekend it took off. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right no, we're actually looking for a, a really dark bird that's around here somewhere. 
dark morph, yeah. Got some details on this guy? Yeah. Well, it's a small, it's a smaller female. Not tagged? Um, no. Nah. Why don't you uh, bring me the seven dust? I'll go ahead and de, I'll de louse her. Pretty bird, look at that. Yeah, it's um. <clears throat> so we're looking for a good squirrel hawk. Like we train the birds to hunt with. Right. And uh, and you need one that's got a leg that's about the size of my finger. Right. So that the squirrels don't hurt them whenever they catch them. She won't slip at you? Oh yeah. <laughs> see, all, see all the blood and, yeah. and snippings already? But they're, most of these birds die their first year because of parasites. Yeah, most juvenile everything died the first year. What, the hawks are what? Red tails are a 70% fatality rate? 80, 85. 80, is yeah. 85? Yeah. And, one, and that's not even, probably not including the ones that get hit by vehicles. It's not. It's a, that's just regular. Look at the tail on that. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the red in there. Mind if I get some close up? Sure. Sure, yeah. I'm fixing to hold it up, so, before I release it. I'm gonna go put this back in the car. Go ahead. Start undoing the, no the nooses. So this could be a large male. Its feet are not as meaty. I mean, it's a decent sized yeah, bird, but it don't. Doesn't its mouth, its lips go back farther? No, that's just the size of the head. Right. Typically, females are bigger, but this bird weighs about 950, 1100 grams, maybe. So it's like a tweener, you know, what we would consider a tweener. Right. But judging from its feet, it's probably a male. It doesn't have the really thick, thick toes and thick hullocks like a female does. It's a yeah. good sized bird, but it's not what we're looking for. You gonna let her go then? Yeah. Look at you. Let me get my, let her go let me right. get my real camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're so nice, Michael. I know. <laughs> Normally we don't hold them this long. All right, ready? Yep. She's like, thank you for dusting the nasty parasites off of me. What, mostly mites or what? Uh, they've got mites, lice, and flat flies. Yeah, I've got this guy's our new friend. He's gonna take us straight to a Harlan's hawk. All right. He said he saw one this morning that uh, He's gonna take us to where they, where he thinks they hang out. He's obviously a bird watcher, you know. He knows people that are in falconry, and he knows the birds, and he knows uh, the Harlins by name because he said, "You want me to show you where the Harlins hang out?" And I was like, "Yes, I do. Yes, I do want you to show me." I said, I introduced myself to him. I said, "Hi, I'm Ashley." He told me his name is. <laughs> Hold on, that is the same guy whose photo I screenshotted and that, that we with the dark here. bird that so he does know where the dark birds <laughs> so are. he does know where the dark birds are He's that's crazy crap. <laughs> like that's nuts like what what are the chances that we follow a picture from 70 miles away into a strange town and meet the guy that took the picture I took the picture of the bird that we we're on that's and, pretty crazy and he's willing to show us and now he's willing to take us and show us where he took the picture you know, usually birders and people that are not hunters are not so friendly uh, towards falconers because they want to protect their birds. They don't want nobody messing with their birds. Um, but I think he saw that the way we took care of the bird, the way we handled the bird, I really think that dusting the birds for parasites went a long way in his book, you know. Does he see something I don't? Well, we did not catch our bird. However, we're closer. We are much, much closer. It was really promising. It, it, toward the end there, when we met up with uh, Mr. Morpheus, Morph, Red Tail Hawk Morph guy, that knows where all, <laughs> where all the, he knows where all the dark red tails are. <laughs> but so the gerbil, uh, Rambo, and the mouse, Emma, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. By the way, Emma Stone is not long for this world because Emma Stone has developed a tumor on the side of her oh, no. body there. I didn't know and that. So she, um, 
she she probably won't be with us much longer. She's been so good to us, though. She has been a very, very good um, bait mouse. We did not catch the bird that we wanted. We, we did catch two really nice birds that probably all of my uh, European friends and falconers are going to be like, why didn't you keep that bird? That was incredible, which it was. It was incredible. However, um, I'm at the stage in my falconry where I'm particular about what I want to fly. And, you know, none of those birds met, met the bill. None of them. But if you look right there on the side of her, you can see she's developing a tumor. See it? Yeah. Right there on her shoulder. By her shoulder, that's just going to continue to grow. And I don't think there's anything we can do to help her. I mean, I can try to operate on it, but I'm not the best mouse surgeon. <laughs> so we had a great day trapping hawks today. Uh, we did not catch the hawk that we wanted. However, we did save some hawk lives today. Uh, we deloused and de-parasited these birds and returned them back into the wild. Um, they're good to go. They're going to survive the winter time more than likely. We did find guaranteed where the birds that we're looking for are hanging out in a general area. So stay tuned. We're going to go out there early, early, early in the morning and we're going to catch one of those Harlan birds. So this is what we call an oxbow. What body of water is this? Well, it connects to the Mississippi because we're pretty close, right? You should be able to see the Mississippi on the other side of that ridge. Okay, so it's like an out cove of it. It's called an oxbow. An oxbow. It's an oxbow. Ox Come on. Wow. So stupid. Everybody knows what an oxbow is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, me too. I knew what that was. Okay, so I'm the only person in the vehicle that knows what an oxbow is. Leave it in the Obviously, comments. I'm the only one that lives in the swamps and, and regularly fish the oxbows because you know what's important about an oxbow? I'm That's right. When the floods flood, it's connected to the river, but when the floods recede, it's not connected to the river anymore, and so all the fish get trapped in there, and it's easy pickings when you want to go fishing. I'm convinced you're Shrek. <laughs>